This is the moment we've been waiting for. The cars you'll spend the next 72 hours rebuilding are Nineteen seventy six Chevrolet Corvettes. Oh, a Corvette. Boring car. I think with the All Stars, we can really pull something out really cool. The 1976 Chevrolet Corvette is part of the third generation of the Corvette or the C3 series. The C3 series was the first to introduce removable T-top roof panels. And in 1979, the C3 hit record Corvette sales, topping over 50,000 nationwide. Who are moving closer to dominating another engine pull. Watch out! Yeah, pass that yeah. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Here it comes. Why not? Bring it in. That's as far as we can go, buddy. There's something holding it in still. They're trying to remove their engine with their transmission still attached. And since the engine compartment of a Corvette is particularly cramped, the engine is getting caught on other parts while it's being pulled out. Oh, shit, hold on. It's still attached to the exhaust. Give me the sawzall. There's a bracket. Everybody's stressing. Let's get this thing out, man. All right, the rear's a go. <laughs> car take six wheels or what? Well, I grabbed these two first. You guys have six wheels over here. What's up? What's going on? You got tires then or what? I'm keeping them and that's that. Loser! So what, what's your plans with this deal? We all talked about like a single headlamp that Scott's going to create four headlamp? rings. Yeah. Cyclops. You want to do that? Cyclops. Okay. Scott came up with a great idea to uh, do sort of a Cyclops skull theme. Let's make the front end our statement. Let's do our big pipes down the side, and Ian's going to bag it so we can set it down. If time permits, I have a pretty evil plan. We got skulls piled up at the bottom, black on the top, just to keep this thing mean and evil. You know what this looks like? What? It's another winner. Hey! All right, bring it in, kids. You got a good plan. Yeah. We're going to do some really unique things. We're going to make one single headlight in the front with some side markers and probably some scallops and some type of intakes on the side. Just everything's going to be really aggressive. It's going to be badass. And it's a challenging concept to complete in 72 hours, but one that can earn major style points from the judges. While the All-Stars are going big with their front end, Itchy is unimpressed with their efforts in the back of the car. What are we going to do about the back end of this car, this piece? Mold it in. Really? Are you going to put a spoiler on it or do something I zoomy? Mean, I thought we'd just do something, something evil with the tail lamps. I don't know what Rich is thinking on this rear end. It's just got a total lack of imagination. We've got to come up with a better styling idea than that. While it seems like the All-Stars are neglecting the back end of their Corvette, the All-Stars have finally figured out how to mount their engine with their transmission attached, and now they are ready to cut the hood to fit the tunnel ram. But Joel, Joel, look at look at the line, even the line in the center. It's not, it's off. But what I what I don't understand, I know you'll never see it because the hood will go up like this, but what I'm worried about is cutting the hole in the hood. I think we should fit it to the we motor. Gotta get around this. Don't you think? What we need to do, since this thing is at dead center of the car, this motor on this car, you need to go. Cut this just to clear, then when we know to clear it, we might make that side wider. Well, uh, theoretically, it should be perfectly dead center. Yeah. But if, if it's off, I would put the hole off. I mean, if you made the hole bigger, then you have a bigger gap on one side, and those guys are going to go, oh, would you go, is that an afterthought? I would just cut out enough to get these carbs through and then lay out the lines with the carbs, you know, cut it tight yeah. to the carbs. Because I don't, I don't think that hood's going to go down to here. I think it's just going to be the carbs. Right, that's what I'm cool thinking. Just the carbs cut out. Yeah, just get enough so the funnels come yeah. through. So it's let's just, eight. yeah, let's just cut that as a preliminary step. and they're changing their concept and their design as they go. It's like, hey, guys, don't you have any clue on being creative? 
Or do you just have to be a copycat like you were through high school? The All-Stars are speeding forward. It's more than halfway through the build, and the eight members of the All-Star team have slept for a combined eight hours. This accelerated pace is beginning to take its toll. The All-Stars are tired right now. We've, we're in a bunch of builds under our belts, and it's winding down. We really need to be careful on this build. Oh, whoa. All right. Holy f Ian just lost control of the grinder, and it almost took his arm off. The shirt saved him. Wow. One more inch, and we would have been calling him Stumpy. I was working up in the spring perch in the vet, and the grinder hooked up, and it took off. It has a lock on the switch, so it stayed on, and it got me in the elbow. He almost cut his damn arm off with that tool. Who? Ian, look at his shirt. I don't know if Ian almost lost his arm, but he was damn close to getting a lot of stitches. You OK, Ian? I don't like that. Wow. Maybe I'll change my shirt. Did it get you, Ian? A little bit. It's a mere flesh it's wound. only a flesh wound. He's going to be OK. <sighs> OK. Nobody's hurt. I'm so happy that this did not turn out to be a total catastrophe. If that thing hit me in the head, it could have got bad. But uh, it only hit me in the elbow, so I'm all right. Maybe I'll put the leather jacket on. I don't like those things. What are no, those like things? I don't want to be around those balls. things. Even though he has just narrowly escaped serious injury, Ian isn't phased at all. Oh, things are getting heavy now. The leather's going on. Me working with metal, I get hurt every day. I'm a mess. 90% scar tissue. It's just part of it. Nothing major. We really got scared for Ian. We're glad he's OK. Biggest thing is, is we got to pace ourselves on this one. I think the team is getting a little bit burned out there. We're a little bit quiet. We're a little bit in the, uh, in the uh, twilight zone. Collecting tools. It's all over the place, like always. The All-Stars are scrambling to prepare their Corvette for paint. Hours of sanding are needed, and with the intense custom paint job planned, every passing minute is putting Rhino on edge. Yeah, we're still sanding. And for Itchy, that sanding has taken his hatred for the rear end to the boiling point. I'm tired, dude. Yeah? Like, all I'm doing is blocking out a whole bunch of ugly back there. Where? Oh, the whole rear, the whole rear section. I mean, look at the back end. It's dry as toast. It's, it's mundane. It sucks. Itchy, Scott, why are you bringing up the back end right now? It's so late in the game for this. You already know Rich is sensitive about everything that he does. And this is only going to create more body work. Just leave it alone. You know, when we get judged, that front end's going to get a lot of praise. Yeah. And that back end's going to come up real short, you know? Hey, Rich. Let's go look at it. Why are you guys doing this? What are you guys thinking? Come on, Itchy. Come on, Scott. This is not going to go well. Sanding and sanding and sanding. And, and I, and I got to be honest with you, for as long as the back end took, I just think there should be more style. You got a better idea. Well, maybe we should start letting Scott design the bodies. Instead of Rich Evans' designs, have Scott Owens' design. I didn't know it was just a Rich Evans or a Scott design. I thought it was an all-star Well, there's team. a Scott Owens' design. There's a Rich Evans' design. Oh, really? Is that how, is that? Is That's that, how it looks. Is that how it is? It is how it is. The Damn. bottom line is, for as much hours as you spent, you could have put a little more pizzazz in it. Itchy, you know what? All you do is whack your mouth, dude. Yeah, I'll whack you in your mouth. Then do it, bro. Do it, big man. We're going to get bitch slapped from the judges. They're going to love the nose. They're going to hate the back. You're going to get shortchanged again, Rhino. I'm already shortchanged, so let's just get it done. I'm sick of this crap. They're talking about more body work. They're taking away from my paint job. This is the one paint job that I was going to kick ass on, and I can't do shit. Uh, listen, George Clooney, take it easy. F you, all right? You're getting everybody pissed off. Shut the f off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rhino. Rhino. You're pissing me off right now. You're pissing me off. Go to Things were getting kind of hectic over there, and uh, maybe they were cracking under the pressure. Ryan, temperamental ten. Take it easy. You. You're overrated. And you're a joke in the industry, so shut the up. I knew he was going to be mad about this, but I never thought that he was going to go after Rich and try to grab him by the throat. Shut up and work. Good thing someone was there to stop me, because I would have knocked somebody the out. Oh, you guys have robbed me every goddamn week of a paint job. At one time, I get to do something cool, I'm robbed again. I can't believe that we are having a complete team meltdown right now. 
Still feeling the fallout from Rhino and Itchy's argument, the All-Stars seem both distant and discouraged. I feel our spirit is dwindling at the moment. I think typically in a high pressure situation like this, people are gonna butt heads. I think there's a lot of underlying tensions. Everybody's pissed off right now. We've gotta get our heads straight and get this car done. Let's just get the team back together again. Don't, don't focus on this negativity. I went a little bit too far and I apologize for the things I said. Last time I fought, I put somebody in the hospital. I don't wanna do that again. In retrospect, this argument was actually a good thing because we got everything out in the open. Enough of this crap. I need to get in the spray booth now. Don't crash. Oh, man, about time. Yeah. Hey, you guys are all watching what's going to kick your ass. Uh, Must be nice to be an all-star. <laughs> Finally, it's time to rock the paint job. I can't do everything I want, but this paint job's still going to be awesome. The All-Stars have finally moved on to step four, paint. Meanwhile, Itchy finds a hidden part in the garage that could fix what he thinks is a very ugly back end. It was brought to my attention that the challenging team was hoarding a spoiler. It turns out that this spoiler fits our car perfectly. I don't know what year this is for, but if we cut two and three quarters out of the center, it's gonna fit. A rear end that can keep up with the front end so it doesn't look like a tale of two cities. We never argue. It's always love. Fighting through his fatigue, Rhino finishes what could be his best paint job to date. I'm dead tired, but I'm jumping right now inside my head because that paint job's badass. It's finished. I did a seven-day paint job in about 12 to 14 hours. I'm personally impressed with myself. Yeah, mule, yeah! Even though the All-Stars were last in the paint booth, they're the first ones out. The challengers can only stare in awe of the competition. Pretty sick. And for the All-Stars, it's all hands on deck to try to install the interior before the time runs out. 30 minutes left, guys. 30 minutes left. Tired of being in this position. We're not going to get this done. Now it's time to reveal the cars. This thing's a Corvette, American-made muscle. It hauls ass. 